glad of her back. What's the more X4? And today we're about to go shoot up a K destroyer. Now, we're not going to go ramming speed this time around, uh, but I advise that we should use our range advantage to chew away at the enemy from a distance. We can shoot about 10 kilometers. The enemy can only shoot about 5.6 or something like that. Well, we can shoot about 9.6, they can shoot about 5.6. We've got about a 4 or 5 kilometer advantage in range. So what we want to do is get in reasonably close, say about 9 kilometers out, and just start pounding the absolute bejesus out of it. Ooh. I wonder if we can target the engines on that thing. On that thing. Yep, that's the all-round engine Mark 1. If we can knock out some of its engines, it'll slow it down. So we want to basically shoot it, take out its engines if at all possible, and then just kite it backwards. And if it tries to run, well, kite it. If it tries to run after us, we just slowly back away. Okay, getting in close, getting in close. Once we hit about 10 kilometers, we're going to hit the brakes. Oh my god, look at that poor dis- I don't know what that ship was down there, but it is currently confetti. Okay, we're just about in range. Almost there. Almost. Yeah, that's enough. And let's see. Attack all capital ships. Yes. Destroy the engines. I want those engines down. Okay, that engine's almost gone. And our plasma turrets are doing work as well. Okay, it's about 8.8 .8 kilometers. Let's just maybe reverse a tiny bit. Why is that thing shooting way up there? Uh, like our plasma shots seem to be going up there for some reason. I have no idea why. Let's just target it. Oh my god, it's actually leading the target enough to hit it. We are shredding its shield. In fact, I don't think we really have to target anything but the front of it and just blast it into the into next week. Yeah, your shields are about to crack down, buddy. There's no way you're getting close enough to us. They have to get within about 5 kilometers of us. They're only 7.8 and their shields are gone. I don't think this is going to go very well for you. Oh no, fighters are coming in. Whatever. And we can reverse it around minus 58? 59? I don't care. Maximum reverse speed is minus 59. By the time they get in range, they're going to be dead. Perfect! That was actually far easier. We don't even have to get too close to it. And we stay away from its explosion when it blows up. Okay, that was good, but we have another problem. Uh, over here in Teladi space, there is this thing. This is not a K destroyer, this is an I. A, a Branch 9 I destroyer. These things are much tougher than a K, and currently it's just ignoring our laser turrets. Well, okay, it killed a whole bunch of them and then just sauntered through, and it didn't even take a scratch on its shielding. I don't think we can kill it, but I think we kind of have to have a go. In worst case scenario, we lose our ship and have to buy another one, but we can afford that. So, give me the, it's going to be a while. We are, oh my god, we are miles away. Where are we? Alright, we're almost... What? Oh! We're over into Laddie space. We can pop over there actually pretty quick. And uh, one second, I just want to drop off some things. Well, we have arrived. And you can see our friend over there having some fun murdering the last of the turrets. So, I think what we're going to do here is send out a scout to investigate. And by a scout, I mean, uh, we're going to send some shooty boy. Basically, we're a carrier. We can bring stuff with us. You see, we brought along our little friend here. Uh, let's go to the dock area. We have a dragon raider. Well, our basically shooty McBangBang guy. Uh, where are you? There they are. Now, we could have teleported to it, but that's not nearly as cool. Plus, it feels kind of nice walking up to this thing. Uh, it's huge, but in comparison to the enemy we're going up against, it's, um, not exactly massive. Uh, let's get up here, take control of the ship, and go and do a bit of scouting. Our job is to have a look, see where its guns are. As far as I'm aware, this thing moves at about 80, 85 uh, speed or something along those lines. So if we could maybe nip in and grab an engine, we could be sorted. We could just kite this thing and hopefully blast it from a distance. Or... Maybe we could even get in close enough to 
take out the shielding on it. If we could take out the shielding, then we could pound it from a distance and just kill it really quick. You see, everything has modules on it, including our ships. Well, not our mediums. If once you go to large and extra large, they have like a shielding module. Your shields are actually on the outside of the hull, so if someone can get in close and shoot that shielding, Four. you're in a lot of trouble. Okay, I'm thinking... Let's get above that sucker. It looks like they have the same sort of weaknesses as the... Uh, oh, the K destroyers. K destroyers, you get above them. Uh, if you get above a K destroyer, you're going to have... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, right about there. Uh, perfect. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Uh, perfect. Uh, yes. Right, what we're going to do is zip in real close. Ooh, keep us down near the rear there. Want to stay out of range of their turrets. Yep. 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 Brakes! Nope, 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 nope. Ow. Did we just end up inside the ship? Um. Oh, come on. Did we just glitch inside it? That is absolutely hilarious. Uh, can we find the shields from in here? Oh my god, there's the engines and everything. Uh. Oh, we have no chance of damaging their shields. Look at that, we're barely scratching this thing, even with like a full unload of everything we've got. Well, let's see what else you've got here. You have... Explosion imminent. Shield generator. Why is the explosion imminent? Oh, you have a shield generator. Uh, I think something near this thing exploded. Okay, can we get it? Whatever that is. No, we cannot. Ow. Well, that's not good. Um, right. So that just happened. Reverse. Reverse. Okay, we're 24 kilometers away from that thing. And it's now spinning like a top. This is only going to make things easier for us, of course. Uh, okay, the shield generator's at, that, at the back of that. If we could get to the shield generator, we could make mincemeat of this thing. We just gotta wait till our shields recharge. Did anyone notice this thing is just surrounded by corpses? Like, hey, oh my... I... There's two K destroyers dead around it. Wow. Okay then, and now it's just sitting there, spinning like a top, spewing fire in all directions. It's like it's just a tiny dancer. Okay, we're recharged. Let's get in there. Hit the afterburner. Got this. Okay. Timing looks good. Timing looks good. Drift a bit, drift a bit. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ooh, down, 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 down. I can't believe we survived that. I was kind of thinking we were going to be back on another ship in a second. Uh, excellent. So, I know where the Zen 2 shield just thingy is. God damn it. Did we just get flung away again? Oh my god, I struggled so hard to get in close and now we've just got flung 50 kilometers away. That thing slingshot us like crazy. Well, since that thing's out there spinning uncontrollably, uh, or at least being kind of bad about things, I think we go over and have a word with it, using our bigger ship, and preferably by attacking it from behind, while it's asleep. Oh god, this is going to take a while, isn't it? At 200 meters per second, we're going to be... Ugh. You know what, we'll, we'll start to get up a little bit of a head of steam, and then we can do some handbrake turns to get us into position. Can't be that hard, right? Just a little bit of handbrake turns in combat. It'll be fine. Perfect. We'll get into about 15 kilometers, we'll slow to a crawl, and... You feel like that's close enough. Uh, I don't want to get too close to this thing at this speed. Ooh. Okie doke, okie doke. Turrets are going to pop their heads out. Is this thing still rotating around? That would be great if it is, because its shield modules are right in there. Like, right in that section. So if it would expose its shield modules and we can take those out, it would make this fight much more pleasant for us. 
Okay, nice and slow. Give me... no, that's uh, impulse turrets. Graviton, ooh, there it is, extra large shield. That would be really nice to get a bead on. Get us in there a little bit closer. We need to get within about 9.5 kilometers range before we can do any real... I'll even waste a little bit of boost to get there. Perfect. And open fire. What the hell? What are you guys shooting at? Okay. I think this thing is completely bug bugged out. You know what? Never mind. If it's bugged out, it's bugged out. Oh, wow, we still actually chew through the shields pretty fast. Eh, we'll just maybe back up a tiny bit. It doesn't seem to be able to make any U-turns right about now. Perfect. All right, let's just skip forward time a bit as we chew through its shields. Oh, the poor thing needs to be trying to orientate itself in our direction. But by the time it does, it's going to be dead. Uh, how big is the explosion from this thing going to be? Is that it? Perfect. Well, that's our first uh, eye destroyer. Honestly, that I think we glitched it out. We sort of crashed into it, glitched it out from the inside, caused it to spin like a top, and then we managed to shoot it while it spun around. Yep, I'm just, uh, I'm going to call that a win because I'll take anything to kill one of those. That thing looked hella tough. I'm not looking forward to our next encounter where it will probably function correctly. I think we're going to upgrade our Dragon Raider to be a little bit more vicious against one of those. I think I have an idea what weapon we can use. One thing I've been doing in the background is, is chucking together a lot of money. I've figured out another interesting way to grind out funds. This here is a Paranad equipment dock. It's located right beside a shipyard and a Paranad wharf. Now, equipment docks I haven't played around with yet. I've just started playing around with very recently, and it turns out they have some fun quirks to them. For example, you can buy your equipment here, as in satellites, nav beacons, resource probes, laser towers, all this stuff. They actually come at quite a discount. They're actually pretty cheap here. In fact, this is going to cost us 47 grand, and we can chuck in, say, 100 of them. So we've just paid 4,751,000 4, for 100 advanced satellites. Let's uh, let's accept that, shall we? Yeah, sure, 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 confirm. 4.7 million. Now, it takes a minute or so for that to process the transaction, and then in here we should see 100 advanced satellites. Perfect. Then we're going to pop over here to the pirated wharf, and we're going to upgrade and repair the ship, and we're going to sell them for 65,000, which means we can just... Uh, Sell them for six and a half million. So I think we just made about two million profit, give or take. Um, done. Confirm order. Perfect. Now, uh, that seems good, but what seems even better is we could try doing that a second time. Unfortunately, it's not going to work quite so well. If we go in here and check, you'll see it's now 55 grand for the advanced satellites. Since we've bought out a bunch of them, they don't have as many left over. However, the game is a bit um, interesting on this front. Let's go into the encyclopedia here and let me show you what I mean. This here is the encyclopedia for advanced satellites, and to make them you need 10 energy cells, 5 advanced electronics, and 5 scanning arrays. Which, yeah, whatever, what does that mean to us? Epically failed. Uh, our autopilot just epically failed. You know what, I don't care. As long as we get there in the end, I suppose that's all that counts. So we come back here to this paranet equipment dock, and I've scanned it a bunch so we can see what's going on inside it. And we can see that their scanning arrays are actually running quite low. And their advanced electronics are well, they are not quite as maxed out as they should be. Namely because we just ate up a whole bunch of their scanning arrays making all of those satellites. So they don't actually store the advanced satellites. What they do is they put them together when you ask for them, which means they each choose their scanning array supplies and their advanced electronics. But the thing is, it gives you all 100 at the starting price. So, all we need to do now is stock them up on advanced electronics and scanning arrays. So we just turn this on, and then we zoom out a wee bit, and we find who's got scanning arrays. Well, someone over here has a thousand of them. Well, that's great. So we'll pop down here. We've got scanning arrays going on, and then I've got a bunch of manual traders I've got lying about the place. Let's make sure we've got one who's not actually busy. Yeah, you seem to be doing fine. So we go over here. We find scanning arrays. We will trade with you. Then we immediately grab all of those scanning arrays. We get 207 of them. 
then we just bring them all back to this location, the actual paranoid equipment dock, to stock them up. Uh, we would like to trade with you, and we will sell you all of those for a profit of 68 grand. Thank you. And then if we check in to here and have a look at the, the place, you'll see they're scanning a razor now filling up. It'll take a while, that trade will actually have to go through. Oh, I should probably pick them up some advanced electronics and some more scanning arrays. One second. Ooh, I should point that out. We're selling them advanced electronics, and we're also making a profit out of that. And uh, if we check here... You'll see, ah, look, advanced electronics are going up as well. Let me grab one more trader. And we bought some scanning arrays and we're going to sell them to them for a profit of 62 grand. But it's just so stupid. So to recap, we bought them out, we bought them a bunch of advanced satellites off them, which we sold for a 2 million profit. Now we're going to buy and sell them a whole bunch of scanning arrays and advanced electronics, which we will then use to make even more advanced satellites. And we made a profit selling them the scanning arrays, the advanced electronics, and selling the advanced satellites. So we're literally making a profit on all three of these at the same time, just selling these off. It's kind of freaking mental. You can just stock them with the goods they need and then sell on the parts to whoever wants them. And let's check the, uh, the Paranid Wharf over here. You see, they're getting those advanced electronics from the satellites we're selling to them, but they'll be consumed by ships. So the ships that they build will consume all the advanced electronics, and then we fill them up with advanced electronics that come from the advanced satellites we're selling them. And we're probably buying the ships to make more transport stuff to buy more advanced electronics and components. So we're making money every which way. This is just stupid. It's actually driven my money up quite fast while I've been doing this, and I quite enjoy it. So I've been just sort of doing this in the background. I really should do a tutorial on this, because I think this is probably the fastest way to make money at the start, just trading around in these advanced satellites. They're the biggest money spinner I've found so far. Now let me make up some more money. I want to expand our factory. Oh, some of our traders have returned, which means we should now be able to go right back into this parented place and buy ourselves... Another bunch of satellites. Thank you. That's 4.6 million. Confirm order. Takes a second or two to go through. Now, I'm not sure if this place is still going to be able to buy them at a reasonable price. Uh, let's have a quick check. 67? You know what? I'll take it. Sometimes you can get it up as high as 70, but we'll take the 67. Yep, there's another 2 million. That is just ridiculous. And now, of course, we can get our traders to go along and buy more resources for them to keep them topped up so that... <laughs> I make more money that way. It seems that once you have the, they have the resources inbound, it drives down the price already. So we don't even need to have the resources arrive. This is this is stupid. I could make so much money doing this, especially considering there's several equipment docks you could do this at. Ooh, all right. I know there was a a little bit of production there. Well, in the background, I've been trying to build up that factory we made earlier, and our factory is getting. Well, it's getting a little out of hand. This is all the miners we've got employed. This is all the traders selling the goods, and there's a couple of construction buyers, but uh, it's not really important. Let's just have a quick look at what's going on at the station in terms of, well, production and size, and it's kind of getting a little bit bigger. We're slowly but surely adding everything on, and we're starting to get into Claytronics. Well, we're going to get into microchip, pro uh, microchip production, then we're going to get up five Claytronics production, and then we're going to double that up so that we have ten Claytronics, at which point we're producing all the basic building blocks to keep expanding the factory. This has slowly been going on in the background forever and ever and ever. You just never stop. You just come back here every so often and spend 20, 30 minutes, queue up a whole bunch of buildings, and then off you go again. It's expensive, but it's kind of a money sink for what you're doing. Now, soon we'll be able to actually use this to make our own ships, which is going to start getting weird. But for the time being, this is our fully tricked out, super modded out, Paranid Odysseus, or Odysseus, whatever the hell it's called. If we just uh, have a quick look at our ship here, this is an abomination of all the different technologies that every race excels at. For example, we have split engines, namely because split engines are the fastest for combat speed. Not travel speed, their travel speed sucks. That's the Teladi if you want those. Glad you're the complete opposite. However, we have 382 move speed because we overclocked the bejesus out of the engine as well. So 382 is just blazingly fast for a ship of this size. Acceleration is 117. Our boost speed is actually pretty good. In fact, we're going to more. We're faster than some fighters out there. It's kind of stupid. Our travel speed is hurts though. It's only 3,211. We should be able to get about 5,000 if we had uh, went with normal engines, but we wanted that high speed because we're a ranged killer. You see, we're equipped with paranoid weapons on the front, 
they can reach about 9.8 kilometers or 9.6 or something along those lines. They're really long range, which means we can pound our enemies from a different distance. The Xenon can only shoot back about 5.5, 5.6 kilometers, which means we have about 4 kilometers of wiggle room to smash them before they can even get in range. And they move really slow. We don't. We should be able to reverse away from them and keep them in our kill radius for even longer. Should be able to smash them down. Also, those weapons are modded to the bejesus as well. Plasma turrets. We are using parented plasma turrets. Longest range. They hit about 9.5, 9.6 kilometers as well. So they match up with our front cannons really well. And we have four of them up, or three of them up front here that can all shoot forward, all modded heavily, so that we can blast stuff to the bejesus. And our shield generators are all Terran. So we have Terran shields, parented weapons, split engines. And it's just, oh, like our recharge rate on our shields is a thousand. Uh, that's that's a lot. We can we can handle a hell of a pounding and dish out even more of a pounding. Let's go pick a fight. Uh, I was thinking down here, we're in family tier or whatever, we're off in the top right hand corner of the map, and these guys here seem to be encroaching in in this section, so I want to go blow up some of their stuff and maybe annoy them. Uh, I think they're producing some things around here, so let's go find something and tickle it a bit so that they come looking. And when they do come looking, we start blasting. I figure if we poke this a little bit, it'll get them annoyed. Oh my god, that thing is monstrously huge. Uh, this might take a minute to kill. Oops, got a little bit too close there. I had to, I was actually on forward movement. We can reverse at 105 meters per second. That's faster than a K destroyer or one of the I destroyers. So we can literally run backwards faster than they can attack us forwards. We should be able to just kite them around the map as far as I'm aware. Oh, those are, might depend on their mods. You know what? We'll find out. But I think we should, in theory, be able to kite all our enemies so fast they can't catch up. Except for the fighters. But the fighters, well, the fighters will have to deal with that. And that's a lot of flak. Overclocked flak. Well, yeah, I'm not sticking around for the rest of that. I'd say we go pick a fight over. Ooh. Yes. And they're just mining ships. Never mind. Though I wonder what that is. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is the building thing. They're building something, this stuff appears. It's like a stockpile or something. And we can't destroy it, can we? Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Oh, dying. That's what you're doing. Yeah, this is not going to go well for you. And dead. I think there's a second one about to... Oh. Oh, buddy. Seriously? I feel like I should change over the plasma cannons to take care of that guy, but you know what? I think the frontal firepower can take care of this. Oh. Well, he's dead. Ah, it seems that's what they're using for the building, so that means there's miners coming from here over here. They're going to bring resources, and then we can shoot them. What are you even shooting at? Oh, it's just shooting at the defense platform. You know what? Let someone else bother with that. So the plan, quite simple, we're going to go in, find any ships they have, blow them up. Hopefully the AI comes in to help out at some point to maybe secure the location. We could secure it ourselves, but I really matrix. don't want to. Number four, five, one. We already have a satellite in here and ooh. Well, that looks like tasty, tasty death. Come here. Ooh, 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 buddy. No, 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 no. You're not allowed out of here. Damn it, I should have closed the door behind me. This guy's far too far away. Hmm. I'm not going to catch him. I decided to go back and find those miners. They seem to all be clustered over here, which should make destroying them a little bit easier. In fact, I think we could camp here and do an awful lot of killing if we were so inclined. Or maybe just drop a whole bunch of lizard turrets. Come here. I want to consume all of you. I don't want you building back up that thing we just destroyed. That thing takes way too long to kill. S. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no, you are not allowed to build up any speed. You are going to die long before you get to any speeds that would cause us problems. Well, that stopped the miners for now, and then I left them a few presents. Uh, namely, 20 Mark II laser turrets right by the platform. They want to go uh, use that platform, they're going to have to deal with 20 Mark II laser turrets first. We'll keep the rest just in case we run into anything too dangerous and have to leg it. I'm a... Uh, we're going into a Xenon sector all on our own, and true, our ship is modded to the bejesus and should hopefully be able to smash whatever we run into. I, I would still like to have a few backups, you know, so 80 turrets sounds like a nice backup to have. 
I'm not seeing any fleet in here. There's a few defense platforms, but I'm not going to stick around to chunk away at those. Let them do what they're going to do. We'll just fly on by. How you doing? <laughs> All right, then. Uh, is there any ships around here? That would be something I would be interested in blowing up. There's one. I think I think we head this way. Jump gate. Matrix. Number nine. Let's head deeper into the belly of the beast. A little bit of a handbrake. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Perfect. Handles like a cow. Well, okay. Probably better than a cow. Just a tad. Okay, here's hoping there's nothing too dangerous on the other side. Uh, what do we got so far? We have a raiding party. I think we're good. Ooh, yeah, we are moving at speed. Okay. Oh. Let's maybe dodge whatever that is. Well, that's some noises. Uh, let's see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, we do have a K-Destroyer. Got some mining ships, a bunch of fighters. Hmm. That links back up. Oh, I didn't realize there was a link from Fires of Defeat to this place. This place is... Ooh, you have a reasonable amount of methane, but nothing too crazy. I mean, the one place I really do want to clean out is this place here. Uh, Turk's Ravine, or whatever the hell it's called. This place has 524 million methane. That's... That's insane. Okay, you. Uh, Ring system. Matrix. Number. Nine. Let's go forward a little bit more. Then hit the brakes. Then we can turn around and start closing in on those guys. Yeah, here they come. Uh, let's just move away from them at a decent clip and let them uh, come up behind us. Their flat cannons should take care of them, though. It might take a minute. Mm. Yeah, our flat cannons are okay, but... Ooh, data vault. Data vault. Yeah, I'd kind of like to explore that. You know what? Let's go have a quick look at the data vault. The fighters can follow us. We can kill them when we get there. I don't think the K-Destroyer has noticed us. We'll come back for the K-Destroyer, I swear. Yeah, their fighters are having a bit of trouble catching up with us. We might be just a tad too fast for them. Never mind. One of them caught up. Well, let's just slow down a bit to let them catch up some more. Close enough yet? There you go, I think you're close enough. Yeah, the flax found you. Perfect. Problem solved. That's actually a great way to get rid of them. Just let them come up behind you. Get close enough that the flax starts firing, but they're far enough away that they still have to maintain a straight line to close the distance. And then the flax can just chew them up. Alright, we'll have a quick look in this data vault and see what it contains, though. Uh, we'll probably have to kill... Yeah, we're going to have to kill these fighters first, aren't we? Uh, who's coming? I don't think anyone else is coming after us, so I think the fastest way to get rid of them is dogfighting. Hmm. What's your orders right now? Fly and wait? Nope. Your orders are to stop. What we're going to do is we're going to get up and take care of this problem the good old-fashioned way. And by that I mean we're going to jump into our Dragon Raider and go dragon murder some people. Raider. Out of the way, buddy. I wish Should there was a... Nope. Ma'am? Nope. Out of the way. Uh, we want to undock. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Paragon can just sit there, tank whatever they're throwing at us, and this guy can kill them way faster. E where are you? Here we go. Perfect. Come here, you. 219 meters per second? What are you, a snail? Damn it. I have these on Defend Me. Attack all enemies, thank you very much. This should be much faster. Where'd that guy go? Oh, there he is. And there he goes. M. Next. God, this thing is so much faster at killing stuff. And after flying that other ship, this feels amazing. Whoa. How much health he got left there, buddy? Can't be a lot. Watch out for the flak. It's got a bit of splash to it. <laughs> <laughs> Dead 
Done. M. Next. <sighs> oh, seriously? Oh, wait a minute. I don't see the K yet, but I'm seeing a lot of fighters. Oh, wow. Looks like we're here for the long haul. Sorry. Um, was not the original plan. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I cannot be held responsible for your poor positioning. M. Okay, fair enough. M. <laughs> yeah, that guy just had a really M. bad day. <laughs> uh, M. Uh, who's next? Oh, this guy. Nope, never mind, he's dead too. God, having a destroyer there to tank for you and help out, that is just insane. I don't know how many ships just died right there. You are... Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Another one bites the dust. Oh, seriously? <sighs> Fine. Um. I'll kill a few dozen more. I mean, it's a, it's a chore and all, but... <laughs> oh, Ooh, actually, that's a lot of them. And stay a little bit closer to this guy. Yeah, we got friendlies inbound. Uh, I'm gonna need you to soak and distract while I shoot the sh- Whoa! Yeah, there we go. God, this is- Like, you do- This combat is actually pretty damn fun. Oh, I'm not even sure where I'm aiming anymore. Oh, Danger. sorry. M. I think I kind of clipped the engines of our ship. It's okay, it's okay. Come back here. I need to turn off auto roll. It's messing up with their ability. I should have remembered to turn that off earlier. If you turn off auto roll, it just makes combat maneuvers so much easier. Okay, Danger. another one bites M. the dust. We've lost about half our shield so far, but... Ooh. I think it might be time to just uh, boost away for a second, and then our shields recharge up. Oh, you're a hit? Yeah, well, stop being such a pansy about it. I got hit too. You don't see me complaining. I'm sure, I'm in a much tougher ship. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, they're taking, they're taking care of things. Uh, all right, time to head back into the fight. While they're busy getting flacked to bits, we'll run in from the side and shoot whoever's on the edge. Um, mm. Come here. Come here. M. M. Come here. M. Thing is, we just want to pick them off one at a time. I don't want to get involved in big fights. I get involved in a five-on-one situation, that's a bad idea. Two or three we can take with that issue. Uh, you come here. Ooh. Little bit of a target-rich environment right about now. Uh. What the hell was that? Okay, another one bites the dust. M. You, come here. Oh no, buddy, there is no escape for you. There is flack everywhere you go. It's gonna follow you home. M. Seriously, how many fighters are in this sector? <laughs> Uh, maybe vacuum up some of the boxes while we're here. Uh, okay. The love of Christ. Okay. I really did a wonderful parking job on that. Wait. Uh, yeah, we totally are. We're fine. We're fine. 
Thank you for all of your enhanced mods. God, that is beautiful. The flak on that? Okay, we may have accidentally shot our own ships. Oh! Buggery. I think a few of them were targeting us. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. And I'll soften them up. Oh my god, there's only... Oh, Christ, there's more of them coming. Hey, there was only two left for a second. Oh, buggery, there's a K-Destroyer inbound. All right, we destroyed these two fighters. Um, Lickety split. And then we go and take care of the K from a distance. Come here. Danger. M. Um. Yeah. Time to duck. Time to duck. I have no intention of tangling with the K in our current state. Odysseus. Vanguard. God, that was so much fun, though. There's something to be... Oh, wow. This place is just surrounded in dead ships. Ah, perfect. I think we've got a bit of time before the K shows up. Hey, we're looking. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're in a bit of a rush here, buddy. Uh, how about... Now, we, we could just teleport, I suppose. That would be faster. Actually, it would be a hell of a lot faster. We can just click on this thing. Teleport to. And then we unpause the game and... Yeah, walking is for chumps. Yay! Straight to the straight to the command deck. You, out of the way. We need to get out of here. There is an inbound K, and I don't want to be anywhere near it when it gets starts shooting. Okay, how far away are you? 27 kilometers? Actually, never mind. It's plenty of distance. Let's turn around. Thing's moving at 134 meters per second. Mm, I don't think we can reverse as fast as it can attack us, but I don't think that matters. What else have we got on a radar? I should have brought a whole... That's what I should have done. I should have brought a whole bunch of those, um... Oh, what do you call them? Advanced radars with us? Considering how many I traded in, I've literally sold thousands. If you had brought a few advanced radars, it would have definitely helped us see what was going on. And let's get in a little bit closer here. Alright, this thing's about to come in range. The moment it does, we're going to start reversing. There we go. That is... Not doing as much damage as I was hoping we'd do. Actually, there we go. I suppose projectile travel time has a bit of a thing to do with it as well. Holy Christ! Like, it's still at 8.6 kilometers, well outside of its weapons range, and we're pounding it, and it's all half its shields are gone. Most of its shields are gone. This thing just falls apart. It just has no strength. Its hull is the best... Its shields are the best thing about it. Once its shields are gone, its hull just crumbles. We can slaughter these things! And... There are fighters we have to care about, but... You know what? Let's go forward a bit. I think we can get in a little bit closer now. Yeah, I'm I'm liking all the investment we put into this ship. Come on, just blow up already. Explosion imminent. Excellent. <laughs> okay. my god. Uh, yeah, you're dead, buddy. M. Oh. Danger. What's the danger? I think we've killed most of the stuff around here. I'm quite happy with this ship. You know what? Jump gate. I think we've proven it's Number effective. Four, five, one. But I think it's time we get out of here. Let's go. It was a bit of fun. I just wanted to test out the ship. I think we could do just about anything with this. We could take out just about any ship. However, 
we still want to make an actual fleet. Thing is, the enemies are going to get an awful lot larger, especially if we try and take out an entire faction. For example, where were they? We have been feeding these guys for a while. The Vigor Syndicate, we've been giving them lots of resources. And you notice they have, um, they have just oodles of fleet sh ships. This is just what you can see with this satellite. They have so much there. These are not the only faction that have been stockpiling ships. We've been feeding people lots of hull parts uh, that might have caused a few lopsided problems in the economy. Not going to complain, but it does mean if we decide to wipe out a faction, it might be a rather large fight and we're going to need a lot of ships to take care of the problem. So what's the plan? Considering our factory is not quite where we want it to be, well, what we want to do is wipe out the Xenon. I think we can do that. Just with this one ship alone and... <laughs> Did that guy try to slide by us and just not die? That was, um, a bold move. Anyway, um, the plan. Yes, we're gonna wipe out the Xenon. Pretty handy, I think. Uh, we should probably keep a bunch of their spare parts lying around there. We'll leave at least some of them alive so we can go farm them later. Then we want to pick a faction and wipe them out. Could be the Terrans. I don't want to wipe out the Split. I kind of like them. They're insane. But we could wipe out the Terrans or we could wipe out... Well, I, I like the kind of like the Parnid too. Oh, damn it. Okay, if anyone's got any good suggestions for missions to do... Ooh, yeah, some good quest runs or anything like that. I'd like to try a few more things before we get into the ultra-late game and we start just churning out large fleets. I mean, once you can start flying around with about tw a group of 20 or 40 destroyers and just tell them to annihilate a system, I think we'll have things tied up. Except for maybe dealing with some of the humans. Some of the fleets those humans have have kind of gotten a little large. They could become problematic if we we're not careful. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here for the day. In the background, I'm going to run up a bunch of the factory and just finish it off or finish off a whole chunk of it so we don't have to wait so long. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Good luck.